because a lot of the time we talk about, oh, how to review the information and how to remember the information, but not, not a lot of people are talking about the quality of the original imprint. How to pay attention when you're taking in the information. Well, how to heighten your senses, how to educate your eyes, how to educate your ears for information take take in first before you can do anything with it. Yeah, interesting. So, I mean, for someone like myself, I get distracted very easily even when I meet somebody because mm -hmm. I'm thinking more about what I'm going to say than listening, unfortunately. Well, I don't want you to feel bad, like I'm, uh, you're a bad person and you're thinking about about yourself. The brain is naturally self-centered and whenever we meet someone and they say my name is blah 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 and I am blah 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 and my friend is this and that, all we're not even listening. We're inside of ourselves thinking about what I'm gonna say. How do I look at the moment? What am I what am I projecting? Do do I look nice in this in this dress? Or this is this is a natural um this is a natural being of our brain. We're, we're always aware of ourselves. But you can switch that and say to yourself, okay, Michael, you're meeting someone new. You need to be looking at their face, remembering what they look like, and listening for what they say, and listening for their name in order to remember it. This is the encoding phase. And I wanna ask you, what do you think is the main reason for poor attention? Poor attention? Poor attention. Yeah, why do we have poor attention? I think it goes with focus or lack of focus. And I, a lot of the time my uh, clients say, well, because I'm not passionate about something. Yeah. Or lack of interest. A lack of interest. I'm not, I'm not interested in something. So that's, that's very interesting how my clients tend to read faster when I give them a text on something that is aligned with their interest and they tend to read slower when I give them something that is not aligned with their interest. You're a finance guy, so I'm gonna give you a um, article from uh, New, York, uh, New York Law Journal. Would you read it fast or slow? Slow. Slow. If I give you something from Wall Street Journal, would you read it fast or slow? Fast. Fast. A lot of the times people tell me, well, the New York Law Journal, I'm not reading fast enough because I'm not passionate about law. You're not reading it fast enough because you're not familiar with the underlying core concepts. And you are familiar with the underlying core concepts in New York, in the, in, in the Wall Street Journal, because you're a finance guy and you know the bonds and you know the options. It's easier for you to read. So passion has nothing to do with the interest. And unfortunately, people believe that they have some inborn passion in them and unless they encounter it in a lecture hall or a seminar, they're not going to listen. Well, I don't like trigonometry because I'm not passionate about it. Well, guess what? You're not passionate about trigonometry because you're not familiar with core concepts of algebra and geometry. That's why you're not passionate about it. You can fool yourself into being passionate about anything. And unfortunately, when our brain is left to our own devices, we're only going to be interested in one of the three things. And our brain is naturally thinking about three things with pleasure. What do you think those things are? 